In a small, dimly lit town, shrouded in darkness, the night of the annual purge had fallen. The air was thick with tension, and the streets were eerily empty. This was the night when all crime was legal, a night where chaos reigned supreme. Jason had always been a desperate man, struggling to make ends meet. As the purge alarm echoed through the town, he decided that this was the night he would do something he never thought he'd consider. He had identified a house with an opulent facade, the home of a wealthy businessman named Richard. With his face concealed beneath a gruesome mask and clutching a gleaming knife, Jason approached Richard's house. His heart pounded in his chest as he picked the lock on the front door, slipping inside. The wealthy man had no chance to defend himself, and Jason was determined to take whatever he could get his hands on. However, as Jason crept through the darkened house, he soon realized that something was amiss. The place was quiet, too quiet. It was as if the entire home had been abandoned. He couldn't help but feel a sense of dread wash over him. Jason proceeded to Richard's study, hoping to find valuables, but instead, he stumbled upon a hidden trapdoor beneath a worn-out carpet. Curiosity getting the better of him, he opened the trapdoor, revealing a rickety staircase leading down into the pitch-black abyss of the basement. With trepidation, Jason descended the creaking stairs, his knife held tightly in his trembling hand. The basement was cold and dank, its walls lined with chains and restraints, and eerie murmurs echoed in the distance. He felt a sense of impending doom. As he ventured deeper, the dim light of his flashlight revealed a gruesome scene. The basement was not empty. Chained to the walls were numerous individuals, their eyes filled with terror. Richard, the homeowner, had become the Purge Knight's captor instead of its victim. Jason's heart raced as he realized that he had walked right into a horrifying trap. Richard, a man of twisted sadistic tendencies, had lured unsuspecting victims into his basement, taking advantage of the knight's lawlessness to indulge in his darkest desires. He turned to leave, but the trapdoor slammed shut above him, and an agonizing scream escaped his lips. Panic set in as he realized that he was now among Richard's captives, a part of the gruesome purge night ritual. The night dragged on as Jason and the others were subjected to torment and torture at the hands of their captor. Richard's madness knew no bounds, and he reveled in the freedom the purge night provided. Every scream and cry for mercy fell on deaf ears. Hours passed, and the purge night neared its end. The captives, broken and battered, clung to the sliver of hope that the sunrise would bring salvation. They were forced to endure unspeakable horrors, their lives hanging by a thread. As the first rays of dawn began to pierce through the basement windows, a sense of relief washed over the captives. Richard's reign of terror was about to end, and justice would finally be served. The sound of sirens in the distance signaled the arrival of the authorities, bringing an end to the purge night. Jason and the others were freed from their chains, and the nightmare was over. But the scars of that night would haunt them for the rest of their lives. The Purge Night had revealed the darkest corners of humanity, and for Jason, it was a brutal lesson that he would never forget.